Take a look. It's a rapid chemical reaction that's releasing large. Make that huge amounts of light, heat, and smoke. It's hot. It's fire! Learning safety, smart science. science. Right now, safety, smart science. science. Safety, smart. It's time to start. Learning it now with Bill Nye. Safety Smart Science is brought to you by Smoke Alarms. We don't mean to alarm you. <clears throat> Actually, we do. Fire. It can be destructive, burning down buildings and entire forests. And it can be useful, providing warmth when it's cold, light when it's dark, and heat for cooking our food. Uh, no thanks. I prefer mine burnt. Here at Underwriters Laboratories, fire safety engineers make sure things are up to fire safety standards. Things like appliances, furniture, even entire houses. Now, how do they do that, you ask? Well, let's say you ask. They do that by burning things in controlled, safe environments. See, when you understand the science of fire, you can be safety smart. here, the motto is, fire is servant, not master. That means you control fire, fire doesn't control you. If you understand the science of fire, controlling it's not that tough. Fire needs three things to keep it burning. Heat, oxygen, and fuel. Fire can become a real monster, destroying everything in its path. So to fight or control a fire, we control the amount of heat, oxygen, and fuel. Candles are a common cause of devastating home fires. This is what happens when you leave a silly little candle unattended. Wow, fire is fast. That little candle was turning into a pretty big blaze. In less than 30 seconds, a fire like this can be completely out of control. And fire is hot. You can feel the heat from that thing way over here. Now see that stripe on the wall? We've mounted temperature sensors from the floor to the ceiling. And even in the fire, they'll still give us readouts. We can see the temperatures on these displays right here. As we go from the floor to the ceiling, you can see that it's getting hotter up here, it's over 150 degrees. See, what's happening is the flames are making the air right above them get warm and expand. And then the cool air around them is forcing that warm air up. That's convection. And it's bringing fresh oxygen to the fire all the time. So it just keeps getting hotter and hotter. And it's making the walls and the ceiling of that room pretty hot as well. 